Hi guys, it's me Eunice. Well, our 16th WTL deal is currently going on right now with amazing benefits for the perfect base makeup solution. Well, many of you guys have requested that you guys wanted to see my personal tutorial. So I brought Kunis today. I'm just kidding. So I brought Eunice's version of the tutorial. If you guys are wondering if these selection of products really work for the perfect long-lasting base makeup, stay till the very end because we have tested seven different tests to test it out. So let's begin. So the first one is toner and you want to choose a toner that is very very rich and moist and this is really really mild so I'm gonna use the toner on the compressed cotton pad and I'm just gonna wipe away lightly and that's just gonna get rid of all the dirt and leftover makeup on your face. I love the fact that if you use a toner that's very moist and that's very very like essence like then it's really great for the next steps that you're gonna put on then it's gonna help to absorb those products much better so next we're gonna move on to the essence a lot of you guys put on toner cream and then your makeup right well if you add another extra step of essence then it can really hydrate deep within your skin so that you know whenever even you put on really thick makeup it will not feel tight or dry at all this essence is super hydrating and it soaks in so well that your skin feels really moisturized throughout the whole day. I want to strongly recommend it for those of you who feel like your skin's oily on the outside but feels super dry in the inside. And you can just simply put this serum on but the way that I do it is I put a few puffs onto the sponge cotton pad which is gonna really help to just soak in that essence deep into your skin so I'm gonna use the sponge and the key point here is don't wipe but just dab on like you're giving layers and layers of moisture into your skin and the thing that I love about the sponge is even if you just put a little bit it just goes a long way So for the next step, for the moisturizer or lotion, you need to find a lotion or moisturizer that has a really good oil-water balance. And make sure that the lotion or the moisturizer is not too rich or oily also. And the important thing is the amount you use. Make sure that you don't use too much of the lotion because that's gonna maybe give you, you know, lotion boogers. The point here is you have to dab. Even from the beginning, it's really important that you dab this way. Make sure that you don't put too much pressure on and you just dab away. A lot of us, we, you know, we do this, but here for our makeup to be not too cakey and for everything to soak in really well, a good tip is just to dab lightly like this. That's why I wanted to recommend this tip to those of you who feel like your makeup is always cakey or you, you feel like your makeup is not soaked in perfectly, then this is a great tip for you guys. Next is sun cream. For that perfect long-lasting makeup, choosing the right sun cream is very important. All right, so you can use your hands, but I'm gonna use a, a puff. And the reason why is because if you want to use it as a makeup base, then this is really great to use with the puff. So I'm just gonna get a very small amount and I'm gonna put it on my forehead, cheeks, nose, and under my chin. And if I use a sponge, it really covers my pores and a little bit of my blemishes more. Because the sunscreen itself is close to physical sunscreen, when you first put it on, you might, be, you might notice a little bit that it clumps on the first application. So when you continue, putting it on, then it will evenly go on and it will evenly soak well into your skin. So with the sponge, I'm just gonna dab lightly like this. Do you see that overall my face tone is getting a little bit brightened? And you'll notice that around my cheek area, the redness is a little bit calmed down, you know, canceling it out with the blue color sunscreen. Just gonna dab lightly and soak everything in. All right, for the next step, I'm gonna use a concealer and a BB cushion. I'm gonna use a concealer first for that perfect, flawless look. So I'm gonna do it on my dark circles first. And I'm gonna use it around this area because you know how it gets a little bit red. And I'm gonna put it around my 
lip area also because it's a little bit darkened compared to my other skin. I'm gonna dab lightly with my sponge. The areas that you feel like is a little bit wide compared to, you know, like little pimples, these wide areas, it's better to do it before you use a BB cushion. All right, so the next step is this cute little BB cushion. And I know that a lot of you guys have loved Claire's BB cream. And this is actually the upgraded version. And the difference is that it has much better coverage and that it's long lasting. And those two points, I always felt like it was very, very important. And I've been using this every single day and I even mentioned it in my monthly favorites video. It's a very, very light balm type formula. And I love the finish itself. It's shine free. So I'm gonna show you right away. I just love how it applies so well. And please look at this side. I just dab just a few times and it just covers everything. I really like the finish. Uh, through the camera, I think because of our lighting, it looks a little bit like a little bit shiny, but in real life, when you put it on, it's a little bit of a matte finish. All right, so now I'm done for my perfect, flawless, long-lasting makeup. Yay! I want to really test out if it's going to be long-lasting. So I'm going to do a few tests myself to show you guys how long-lasting and perfect this makeup is. Or we rolling? Guys, I'm sorry, I just yawned like crazy. Um, right now, currently, it's 9.09 p.m. <sighs> so I'm working late. Um, I think it's been about nine hours because we started at 11.30. So wow, it's been nine hours and I wanted to show you guys the real thing, how it turned out. So this is how it looks after nine hours. I think it's a little bit erased around the lip area because I had some bomb ass fall, but everything else, I feel like it's, it's really in place. Do you guys see? And the real thing is because I wanted to show you guys the real situation after nine hours, how it turns out, I did not retouch my makeup, not even once. That's why I have like, you know, it looks all crusty and stuff around this area, but everything else just looks really nice. Mm. For those of you who want to know detailed information about each product, then keep watching. Now, let me show you guys in detail about each product that I used in the perfect base makeup tutorial. First is Claire Supple Preparation Facial Toner. Now, after cleansing, we're gonna care for your irritated skin with this toner. This toner is going to even out your complexion with a touch of hydration. Now, this toner is on the little bit of the thicker side. It has higher viscosity. Actually, applying multiple layers of this toner will fight against whiteheads and also blackheads. 
Next up is the essence, Benton Snail Bee High Content Essence. This promotes really good oil water balance and also it really, really hydrates your tight and dry skin. This serum is the perfect all-in-one multi-functioning serum that will really repair your damaged skin. Even in the developing stages, this essence was created with only gentle ingredients and it's also alcohol-free. Also for the texture, rather than being on the runny side, it's very thicker and it's very viscous. So how to use is very simple. Pump out one or two, two to three, whatever you need. An ample amount on your face and just dab it all over your face. And when you first put it on, as soon as it hits your skin, you will feel that it gets a little bit watery so that it absorbs really well into your skin. So all you need to do is dab lightly and make sure that everything soaks in. The next one is the moisturizer and lotion. This is Chica and Chico Tray High 8.0. If you are looking for a lotion that has just intensive moisturizing and that will really soothe your skin, this is what you're looking for. Those of you who are struggling with oiliness on the outside but really dryness and tight feeling on the inside, this is a great cream to use. This cream absorbs really well into your skin and has a shine free finish, which is really important. Just get an adequate amount of cream. You don't have to get too much or you don't have to use too little. And then make sure that you apply it on your face. And I personally put a second layer on those parts that you feel like is extra dry or that you want to target. Next is Claire's Midday Blue Sun Lotion. And this is created for every skin type, but especially for sensitive skin type also. Not only does it have UV protection, but it also shields against heat for those skin types that's easily irritated. As you guys probably guessed, this sun cream also formulated with guajuline that is also a midnight blue calming cream. The good thing is it doesn't have much oil, which is really great for shine free and transfer free. It's also oil and sweat proof, and it also has a cooling effect. How to is very simple. At the last step of your skincare routine, apply um, an adequate amount onto your face, your ears, and your neck also. And make sure that you put on your sunscreen before you go out, at least 50 minutes. And please reapply every two hours. Make sure that you get all the benefits of the sunscreen, whether if you're inside or outside. Make sure that you dab everything in and you make sure that it soaks well in and then put your makeup on afterwards so that your makeup won't smear or streak. So the best-selling Claire's Mochi BB has come out in this cute little cushion. And I know that the response has been so hot these days and I know that a lot of people are extremely excited and also same time very curious. With just few pads, it just makes it possible for your makeup to be done perfectly and flawlessly. It really leaves a satiny finish. You can choose to use this cushion in two different ways uh, depending on what finish you want. For a very natural and glowing finish, then just open it up and use it right after. If you want a more higher coverage, then I suggest that you use a spatula or a cotton swab to press onto the cushion, which will help the product to spread all over evenly inside. This will let the thicker cover base formula on the bottom, layered on the bottom part to boop, to come up to the top layer and make the cushion and overall look a more matte finish. Now, I wanted to show you the finish itself, so I'm gonna erase my makeup right now, right here, and show you guys. So I'm gonna remove my makeup. Do you guys see my redness, my freckles, and everything? So with just few pads, you're gonna see me covering everything. Do you see the difference already? If you feel that you're running out of product, all you need to do is remove the protective ring with the clean hands. Flip the cushion with clean tweezers. Then, using a spatula, evenly distribute the product, almost like you're trying to push the BB cream into the cushion. Finally, wipe the excess product off from the sides, replace the protective ring, and enjoy your semi-matte, high-coverage cushion. Next one is Claire's Creamy and Natural Concealer. This stays really well and it doesn't crease or it doesn't cake. 
Its formula uh, makes it perfect for every skin type, even sensitive skin types. Its natural color makes it possible for anyone using shades between 21 to 23 to be able to use it. It's soft, textured, and it's also very creamy, and the finish is really, really fresh.